Yes, my my vocal teacher at both Manhattan School of Music and the Juilliard School. She basically said that as I was going to be developing my technique, you know, as a, as a freshman in college, I needed to not sing any other styles of music. You know, I had to focus, you know, like, so I said, okay, no problem. No problem at all. <laughs> what a lie that was. I, um, I, I can see your fingers being crossed behind your back. Sure. Exactly. I'm like, of course, <laughs> I'm not going to sing anything. Nothing but opera. <laughs> and next thing you know, I, I, know, I would do a gig or two on the weekends, like singing my heart out like Aretha Franklin songs. And, and she would hear it. She could actually hear. She's like, Kenji, what did you do this weekend? <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? And she said, I can hear it in your voice. I can hear the difference when you are singing pop music because it's a different sound. And I can hear that the purity of your classical sound has been, um, you know, manipulated or, or has... Uh, compromised? Compromised. That's the word I was looking for. It has been compromised. Mm -hmm. And we cannot have that being compromised as we are developing your technique. And so I said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it won't happen again. Um, a few more times she did notice um, it happened again. And then... After that, she did not notice anything, and she was very, very proud of the fact that I was listening to her and not compromising my sound by singing other styles of music. But in reality, I had developed the technique of being able to do it without it compromising my sound, so she could never know that I was singing with Houston songs on the weekend. <laughs> wow, so in a way, she helped train you to be able to go back and forth between styles. Yes, out of force of trying to keep it a secret. <laughs> Amazing. 